seated and uh, I want to actually do something different this morning. Um, does anybody have any testimony that wants to come and testimony? Okay, <laughs> two people. All right. Uh, ladies first, okay? okay. Amen. Amen. Wendy, how are you? I'm fine. This I don't is, need a mic. This is Wendy. This is Wendy Gaines, yes. the number one worshiper. Yes. So you guys know me. I always say a disclaimer before I testify that my tears, thank God, are usually tears of joy. So I just thank the Lord to just help me work with my tears. Okay, so um, how do I start? I had it all together and now it's just gone. Okay, so um, for those of you that don't know or are familiar, I haven't had a car. I haven't had a car probably three, four years. It broke down a long time ago. So I wasn't, me, I wasn't really tripping off of a car. I don't mind walking. I don't mind catching a train. I mean, I'm just, just like that. I'm just built that way. But Tierra was riding it. You know, Tierra. There we go. God, I went and had a car. And so she was just going on and on. For years she's gone on and on about this car. And so I just have been patient and required because I knew that in my in my mind I had a plan, right? So she wouldn't understand the plan, but I had a plan. <laughs> so anyway, she was just riding me this one day. And I uh, felt my flesh rising, but the Holy Ghost took over and I told her, listen, if you really want us to have a car, you have to pray. You just have to pray. That's just what you have to do. It. And don't bother me about the car anymore. But I was saying it, you know, out of just, come on, just lay off me and pray. So, okay, you tell Tierra something, she take it to the hill, right? So, <laughs> she, all of a sudden, I'm being approached by the prayer team. And they're saying to me, did you get a car? Did you get a car? And I mean, this has gone on for like a year, right? And I'm thinking, okay, Lord, you know I got this plan, and you know that this has to happen, and that has to happen. And so I'm thinking that now this is the time to start getting myself together so I can get this car. Okay, so that's what I was doing in my mind, because I had the plan, right? So my plan was that I was going to use my tax return to get a car that would get me around Pasadena. That was my plan. That's all I need. This is where I live. I just need to get to Pasadena. So that's where it was. So I was waiting for my tax return. Mm -hmm. So I was with my sister last week, and I, I always run things by her. I always just let her know this is how I'm doing things. So I let her know that I was going to use my tax return to get a car to get around Pasadena. And I was telling her quietly. She turns around to my brother-in-law, and she said, Pete, Wendy wants to get a car with her tax return. She's just going to use something to get around Pasadena. And he turned to me and he said, I told you. And in his words, he said, wait for the money. He's been telling me for years that he was going to give me a car. But I'm telling you, it's been like 10 years. He just been saying, just wait. Just wait. I'm going to get you a car. Just wait. So I would just, you know, I don't want to pressure him. It's not his obligation. So he said, I told you. I said, wait for the money, right? So I said, so I just calmed down. I said, okay. And he's standing and he goes, so when do you want to get it? Basically, like, when was I going to get the check? So I said, maybe, you know, in a week. So he was like, okay, fine. I don't have the credit to get a car. So he was like, fine. Nobody co-signs for you. Nobody does anything like that. In a week, we'll go get you the car. I got to do some things and be out telling we'll get you the car. So I left him on. I didn't want to pressure the schedule so much. And so anyway, to make a long story short, he leased the car for me. I didn't have to go in. I didn't have to do anything. He just went and got it, came out, gave me the key, and just said, go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Because I surprised her, I told her we were walking to the store in Northridge, oh. and she was, just, she was just done with the whole thing. But when she got in the car, it was just her face looked like it was just going to pop. She was just so happy. So I just want to say to the prayer team and to you that don't use your uh, response cards, the Bible says that you can pray about anything concerning here on earth, and our Father, which is in heaven, will do it. So my only advice to the response team is our response cards need to be way bigger. So we can pray. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Hallelujah.